Now roads are closed after a sinkhole opens up in Madisonville, a big one. Not on your side's Allie Kramer is live with more on the area you will want to avoid this morning. Allie. And Julie, this is such a tricky spot because you're talking about Erie at Brotherton. It's how you get down to Red Bank or vice versa. If you're trying to take Red Bank even over to cutting through into Marymount or maybe into East Hyde Park. And uh, this should be an obvious sign, but you wouldn't believe the number of people that come flying down Erie Avenue to this intersection at Rosslyn uh, right here by the Shell gas station. If you're familiar with this area and then all of a sudden er, screech on the brakes because you got to cut down and go around and uh, we tried to direct a guy around all the way to the sports mall, but man, it is a long detour. Certainly not going to be easy for you this morning. We're standing a ways back from that uh, sinkhole, but when you look at this video, you can kind of see that uh, police tried to barricade it to block drivers from the sinkhole over the weekend, but officials say yeah, driver went right around it and drove into the sinkhole. Two medics that actually happened to be on the scene, they were able to help using tools that they had with them. They were rescuing that driver who was luckily able to climb out their window and onto the roof of the submerged car. And we're told that that driver has minor injuries. The water is back on here in the area of Madisonville, but it will likely be shut off again as they continue to work on some of those repairs today. And with the rain, uh, we're not sure how much work they'll actually get done on patching that road. So we will be sure to keep you updated when this does finally reopen. Reporting live this morning, Allie Kramer, right on your side. Allie.